The old hotel stood in solitude, perched atop a cliff overlooking the raging sea. Its faded grandeur and mysterious aura had always intrigued me, and I couldn't resist the urge to spend a night within its walls. Little did I know that my decision would lead me into a web of unsettling mysteries. As I stepped into the dimly lit lobby, a shiver ran down my spine. The air was heavy with an indescribable sense of melancholy. The receptionist, a stoic figure with eyes that seemed to hold secrets, greeted me with an enigmatic smile and handed me a worn-out key. Once inside my room, I couldn't shake the feeling of being washed. The creaking floors, the flickering lights, and the whispers that seemed to drift through the walls only heightened my unease. I brushed it off as my imagination playing tricks on me and tried to settle in for the night. However, as I lay in bed, the silence was shattered by the sound of distant laughter echoing through the corridors. Curiosity got the better of me, and I ventured out to explore the hotel's secrets under the cloak of darkness. The hallways twisted and turned, leading me deeper into the labyrinthine maze of the hotel. Each door I passed seemed to hold its own hidden story, whispers of forgotten guests and unspoken tragedies. As I reached the upper floors, I stumbled upon a locked door that piqued my curiosity. The key I had been given at the reception fit perfectly, and the door swung open with a haunting creak. Inside, I found a room frozen in time. Dust-covered furniture, faded photographs, and a sense of abandonment filled the space but it was the journal lying on the nightstand that drew my attention. The pages of the journal spoke of a forbidden love affair, deceit, and a tragic ending that had occurred within the very walls of the hotel. The more I read, the more entangled I became in the dark history of the place. As I immersed myself in the secrets of the journal, I failed to notice the door closing behind me. Panic gripped me as I realized I was trapped within the room. The hotel seemed to have a mind of its own, determined to keep me captive within its enigmatic confines. Hours turned into days as I searched for an escape. The whispers grew louder, and apparitions of long-lost guests appeared in the shadows. The hotel was alive with the echoes of its haunting past. But amidst the despair, a glimmer of hope emerged. I discovered a hidden passage leading to an attic where I stumbled upon a chest containing a collection of forgotten keys. With trembling hands, I tried each one until finally finding the key that would set me free. As the heavy doors of the hotel opened, releasing me from its clutches, I glanced back one last time, bidding farewell to the enigmatic hotel and the mysteries it held. The scars it left on my soul would forever serve as a reminder of the dark and enthralling secrets hidden within its walls. Freed from the confines of the enigmatic hotel, I stood outside, taking in the crisp night air. The weight of the hotel's mystery still lingered, and I knew I couldn't simply walk away without uncovering the truth that lay hidden within its walls. Determined to unravel the secrets that haunted the hotel, I embarked on a quest for answers. I delved into the hotel's history, poring over old newspapers, archived records, and speaking to locals who knew of its dark reputation. It was during my investigations that I stumbled upon a name that seemed to be intertwined with the hotel's past. Evelyn Hastings, a renowned actress who mysteriously vanished while staying at the hotel decades ago. Her disappearance had never been solved, and rumors of foul play swirled in the air. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, I set out to discover what had befallen Evelyn Hastings. I scored libraries, interviewed elderly residents, and uncovered hidden documents that shed light on the events leading up to her disappearance. The pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place. The hotel had been a hub of glamour and scandal, frequented by the elite of society. Evelyn Hastings had been entangled in a web of secrets, blackmail, and betrayal. The truth was buried deep within the hotel's history, waiting to be unearthed. One evening, as the sun set and cast long shadows over the hotel, I returned to its doors armed with newfound knowledge. The receptionist, whose eyes seemed to hold a glimmer of recognition, greeted me with a knowing smile. It was as if the hotel itself was aware of my purpose. I requested to stay in the very room where Evelyn Hastings had vanished all those years ago. 
The receptionist hesitated but eventually complied, perhaps sensing the determination burning within me. Inside the room, I felt a chilling presence, a lingering energy that bore witness to past events. The walls seemed to whisper, urging me to uncover the truth that had remained hidden for so long. Night after night, I delved deeper into the hotel's secrets. I retraced Evelyn's footsteps, retraced the path she had taken on her final night. The whispers grew louder, guiding me towards the ultimate revelation. Then, on one fateful night, I discovered a hidden compartment within the room's wardrobe. Inside, I found a collection of letters, a clandestine correspondence that revealed a web of lies, jealousy, and treachery. As I pieced together the letters, a shocking truth emerged. Evelyn had stumbled upon a scandalous affair involving influential figures within the hotel's elite circle. Threatened by her knowledge, they conspired to silence her forever, making her disappearance appear as an accident. Armed with this damning evidence, I confronted the remaining figures involved, exposing their dark secrets to the world. The truth was finally unveiled, bringing justice to Evelyn Hastings and closure to the enigmatic hotel. With the hotel's mysteries laid bare, its haunted atmosphere seemed to dissipate. The building, once cloaked in a sense of foreboding, now stood as a relic of the past. Its secrets were no longer locked within its walls, but etched into the annals of history. As I walked away from the enigmatic hotel, I couldn't help but feel a mix of satisfaction and melancholy. The ghosts of the past had found solace, and the truth had set them free. The hotel stood as a reminder of the darkness that lurks beneath the surface, an eternal testament to the human capacity for deceit and redemption. And so, I left the enigmatic hotel behind, forever carrying with me the echoes of its secrets, grateful for the journey that had forever changed my perception of the world. I decided to stay at the quaint old hotel, enticed by its atmosphere and historical charm. But soon, I noticed something strange, a constant feeling that I was being watched. Each time I turned around, it seemed as though someone was lurking in the shadows, observing my every move. At first, I dismissed it as mere paranoia, a figment of my imagination playing tricks on me. But as the days went by, the sense of being monitored grew stronger. I started noticing subtle signs, an unexplained presence outside my door, the faint sound of footsteps when no one was around, and an occasional glimpse of a figure darting out of sight. Determined to get to the bottom of this mystery, I discreetly inquired with the hotel staff. Their responses were evasive, brushing off my concerns as mere coincidences, but I knew deep down that something was amiss. I began my own investigation, delving into the history of the hotel and its previous guests. The more I dug, the more I uncovered a dark past. Stories emerged of disappearances and unexplained occurrences associated with the hotel. It became clear that my unease was not unfounded. As I pieced together fragments of information, a pattern began to emerge. It seemed that the hotel had a hidden secret, carefully guarded by those who worked there. I became determined to uncover the truth and shed light on the mysterious events that had plagued the place for years. Through careful observation and discreet conversations with fellow guests, I managed to gather first-hand accounts of strange incidents. Many had experienced the same eerie sensations, feeling as though they were being watched or followed. Together, we formed a small group, determined to unravel the enigma that shrouded the hotel. Our investigations led us down a labyrinth of corridors, uncovering hidden passages and forgotten rooms. We discovered old documents and photographs that hinted at a troubled past. Whispers of scandal, deceit, and even a long-forgotten crime began to surface. As we delved deeper into the history of the hotel, we realized that it had once been a meeting place for secret societies and clandestine gatherings. The very walls seemed to hold the echoes of their hidden agendas. It became clear that the feeling of being watched was not a mere figment of our imagination, but a remnant of a dark era. Armed with our determination and the fragments of information we had gathered, 
Our small group continued to delve into the secrets of the mysterious hotel. We meticulously studied the old documents, cross-referencing dates, names, and events, hoping to uncover the truth that had been concealed for so long. One particular name kept resurfacing in our research, a prominent figure from the past who had connections to the hotel. We traced his lineage and managed to locate a descendant who still resided in the area. With cautious optimism, we reached out to them, hoping they could shed light on the hotel's dark past. To our surprise, the descendant was more than willing to meet with us. Over a cup of tea in their cozy living room, they shared family stories that had been passed down through generations. They spoke of secret societies, clandestine meetings, and the hidden agendas that had unfolded within the walls of the hotel. As we listened to their tales, the pieces of the puzzle started falling into place. The hotel had indeed been a meeting place for influential individuals who had used it as a sanctuary to conduct their covered activities. Rumors of illicit affairs, political intrigue, and even a long-forgotten murder circulated within the family stories. Armed with this newfound knowledge, we returned to the hotel, determined to confront the shadows that haunted it. We gathered evidence, documenting the historical connections, and arranged a meeting with the hotel management. We presented our findings, demanding answers and accountability for the hidden past that had tormented so many. At first, the management denied any knowledge of the hotel's dark history. But as we persisted, laying out the facts and testimonies we had collected, their facade began to crumble. Reluctantly, they admitted to the truth, acknowledging the hotel's sordid past and the legacy it carried. The revelation sent shockwaves through the local community. The hotel, once seen as a symbol of charm and nostalgia, now bore the weight of its hidden secrets. The management, faced with public scrutiny and legal implications, vowed to make amends and bring the truth to light. In the aftermath, the hotel underwent a transformation. A new management team took over, dedicated to transparency and embracing the dark past instead of hiding it. The hotel became a beacon of truth, hosting historical tours that delved into its mysterious history and offering a platform for open discussions about the secrets that had long been concealed. As for our small group of investigators, we found solace in knowing that our relentless pursuit of truth had brought about change. The sense of being watched had dissipated, replaced by a sense of accomplishment and closure. We had unraveled the mysteries of the hotel, unveiling its hidden secrets for all to see. The experience taught us the importance of questioning what lies beneath the surface and the power of collective effort in unraveling enigmas. We had turned the haunting presence into a catalyst for change, shedding light on the dark corners of history and reminding others that even the most charming facades can hide a troubled past.